In the chill of an evening in Sweden, a freeze returned to negotiations between the US and North Korea. The two sides had been meeting in Stockholm for the first time since previous nuclear talks broke down at a failed summit in Vietnam in February. But it quickly became clear the two are dramatically far apart. The U.S. raised expectations by offering suggestions like a flexible approach, new method and creative solutions. But they have disappointed us greatly and dampened our enthusiasm for negotiation by bringing nothing to the negotiation table. Both sides agreed to restart the talks after Donald Trump's remarkable visit to North Korea in June at the end of the G7 in Japan. He met the North Korean president, Kim Jong-un, at the demilitarized zone, the area marking the border between North and South Korea, and then took the dramatic step over the border, the first U.S. president to do so. There was hope fresh talks might make progress after President Trump's national security adviser, John Bolton, was fired. He was seen by the North as an obstacle to a deal. He admitted he was deeply sceptical they would ever give up their nuclear weapons. And a day after the new talks were announced, Pyongyang confirmed it had test-fired a ballistic missile designed for a submarine launch, a step forward in technology and a clear message to the Americans. Even a few hours before the talks broke down, US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was confident of a breakthrough. There were four pillars that the two leaders agreed to, and we... Uh... We're very hopeful that we will make some progress. We're, we're mindful this will be uh, the first time we've had a chance to have a discussion in, in quite some time. In a statement, the State Department said the United States and the DPRK, North Korea, will not overcome a legacy of 70 years of war and hostility on the Korean Peninsula through the course of a single Saturday. These are weighty issues and they require a strong commitment by both countries. The United States has that commitment. The U.S. says it has accepted an invitation from the Swedes to return for more talks in two weeks' time. For their part, the North Koreans say the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula is still possible, but only when obstacles that threaten their safety and check their development are removed completely without a shadow of doubt. That suggests that until the U.S. starts to ease sanctions on North Korea, they won't be going back to the negotiating table. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.